because they're giving their parents old devices now. So how young do you think we should start teaching sex education in terms of age appropriate, you know, not the mechanics of sex or anything like that for young people, children, but if you look at, so in Northern Europe, in Sweden, Scandinavia, their approach and attitude to sex and sexual education is entirely different. And they have a very different society, most of which is shown by their equality, sexual equality, pay equality. And it's also defined by their public services. So someone dive in on that. Would be happy to jump in on that. Um, I think this is a very serious problem worldwide, global, across cultures, across countries where kids are vulnerable to um, sexual abuse. And it can happen anywhere at any time with family members, with coaches, at churches. You just, you never know. And it's, it's sad and it's very scary. And it may be difficult, you know, maybe easier or more difficult in some cultures to try to have those conversations with young kids. But I think it's incumbent upon us to protect our kids to let them know, hey, if someone touches you here or asks you to do, you know, go into this room by themselves, you don't go or you tell me right away. Those types of things to at least have it on a level where they can understand. You don't have to get into all the mechanics, you know, but just what's okay, what's not okay, yeah. um, because those things are happening around the globe and it's, it's, it's a serious issue. So, so certainly, you know, telling younger children what is, a, is appropriate, it would be a good start. Uh, Mary Lynn, what's your yeah. take on this? Yeah, I mean, like um, I was never taught sex education or anything, you know, my parents, and say, oh, go talk to your mother. Oh, go talk to your father. It's sort of like, okay, well, you just went to your friends. Um, so I think, um, yeah, anytime, any age, anytime that child asks a question or you're concerned about something happening in the neighborhood that you should tell your children, you know, like, okay, like Gregory said, you know, uh, you know, if somebody's trying to get you into a van, you know, you just have to, you have to help them help them to help themselves to protect themselves you know because gazelle our our first uh, um panelist she told us stories about when she was six years old um and so yeah and so right okay we're we're nearing the end of our time um and what i'm gonna do is invite you two ladies so basically uh, Gregor and I started the LinkedIn Me Too page, mm -hmm. but we can make you content admin people, which means that you can invite a hundred of your connections every month. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, LinkedIn isn't making a change. Uh, there was the uh, racist abuse for the there's a soccer in the in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, a, so the social media companies were up against a parliamentary inquiry mm -hmm. and they still aren't doing anything. So yeah. the fact that LinkedIn isn't doing anything means to me we need to get thousands and thousands of followers. Mm -hmm. Would you be prepared to invite your followers? I'll send you the link to the admin of sure. the page. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think let's, so for our last little section, I'd like Anusia uh, and Mary Lynn to give um, the best wisdom you can that might help someone to recognize and stop this behavior. So Anusia, let's come to you first. Yeah. As I'd like to suggest like uh, teenagers who are really going through this kind of behavior. I think it's a, it's a very high time now. You have to stop doing it. And it's like you try to utilize your time in a very, uh, you know, uh, in a very uh, good way so that it will help you to grow your knowledge. If there's some good uh, information that you have currently going I know it's education skills. You try to improve your education skills. If you are not doing anything at home right now in this pandemic, so you try to utilize your time by gaining some uh, skills, skills on training, 
different, uh, you know, uh, you can say uh, skills trainings. There were so many trainings are there. Mostly you can go through Udemy, now the online platform where you can mm -hmm. use it. It's a very cheap, I mean, the, uh, sub, I mean, the course fee is not so much. So you try to gain or knowledge in different subjects like in uh, whatever, if I'm just, I can suggest them if you are school kids or if you are college going kids, don't waste your time. Just try to utilize the time on gaining your knowledge on skills, different skills. So basically apply yourself in a different way rather yeah. than mm -hmm. sending off this random nonsense that isn't working and isn't making you look good and is, as, as Mary Lynn said, out there forever. Mary Lynn, um, mm -hmm. your perspective last sort of words of advice yeah i'm going to take off where angelo said that get some skills get some education sign up for some classes self-improvement um motivation um there might be a lot of children that have a lot of mental illnesses or depressed or you know because i think stress is the ne next pandemic mm -hmm. so um, if you're stressed out or you're angry or whatever uh, reach out for professional help for mental health challenges. There's lots of organizations that can help you. Um, also, like like she said, you know, sign up for a class, <laughs> educate educate yourself. You know, whether it's you know uh, you know your typical math, science, and English. You know, sign up for classes like that, and also just sign up for classes that will improve your attitude toward people. You know, it's a self being more self aware, you know. So it's, yeah, we'll have to, we'll talk another time because um, <laughs> I, uh, I committed to someone the other day that self awareness is not as common as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I use it a lot and therefore I expected everyone else to be able to have it, whereas they, they don't always. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, look, uh, we're going to come to the end of our show. So if our panel wave, wave goodbye and I will stop the recording. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. And obviously, um, stop this behavior. Any men watching this uh, uh, video, um, just just stop. Reassess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll stop yeah. the recording. we see the only way to stop this is to bring these stories to light so that with the original Me Too movement, women who are also experiencing this go, oh yeah, that happened to me as well. And they follow the page because if we can get 20,000, 30,000 followers, then we can say to LinkedIn, listen, this is bad. This needs to change.